guys, it's your girl Natalie, the one true diamond, coming at you with another video, okay? I am still on vacation and loving it. <laughs> Today is Friday, and my vacation is coming to an end, which is sad. <laughs> I know. Oh, that's the sad part about it. But anywho, I'm coming on with a wig review, okay? Um, this wig... I got came from I don't remember I don't remember but I will put it somewhere in the video wherever I ordered it from um yeah I'll put it somewhere in the video it didn't come from my last short do it did not come from there but anyway everybody's been talking about this wig online and I'm like okay I want one I want one I want one I wanted it in 1B or I wanted it in the copper color like the girl had but the only colors were like this teal or this real blonde and then I found the site because there's several sites you can get it off of but they all sold out except for those odd colors and then when I went to this one site it had the burgundy and I've had burgundy hair before, so I decided to get this wig in burgundy, okay? So the wig I'm talking about is the Sensational What Lace what lace Wig, and it is the Aubrey. I did open it up, you guys, so that's why she's upside down in here, but this is it, my Sensational What Lace. And the only, um, let's see, let me open up. The only thing about this lace is I heard people talk about how light colored the lace is. And that they had to do some extra um, work to it to make it match, to look more realistic like your skin. They were saying that many wigs of Sensational have put out, that they're, they should know that we are different complexions, different tones, and they need to do something about the lace front. But, you know, when I took it out originally, yes, the lace was a little light. And, yeah, so that would probably be my only complaint about this wig. But even when I tried it on for... Um, Derek just with this and usually he'd be mm -hmm. but he actually said he liked the wig so I didn't cut it or anything yet because I wanted to show you guys straight out of the box and then I will be um, cutting it and fixing it and styling it to my head okay so um, it is the T1B burgundy is what I have okay the price of this wig I think I wound up paying with shipping and everything it might have been 60 something dollars I think okay but this is her she has a pretty wide part in space. Is she not gorgeous or what? This is the copper color that um, they have, that the model has them on. And I love that color. And I'm going to keep looking out for that color because I do like it. It's up to 350 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. You can put heat to it. Um, and it's 100% premium fibers. Okay. And let's see. And it also has the pre-pluck um, hairline that I wanted because, you know, people have been doing these wigs and um, making them look realistic. And they've been, pre, you know, they've been plucking it and dyeing the knots and all that. And I'm not a hairdresser and I just get too, too much from it. I just... I just can't. I'm not a good hair doer, dresser. Now, the one thing that I did hear about this wig, dropping the paper all on the floor, I'll get it later. One thing I did hear about this wig is that it tangles a lot at the nap of the hair, and I seem to believe that because it seems like I only tried it on, and it seems to be that way, okay? But this is her straight out of the box, and as you can see, um, you can see how light that lace is. Can y'all see? You see how light that lace is? It's just very light. So, yeah. And let me show you the insides while I'm here. There is a quite large parting space. So, I like that. It means you can style it different areas. Can y'all see? Let me see if I turn it inside out. That might work better for you to see. Okay. So, you can see the parting space. That is a large parting space, so that's a good plus. It do have um, two tuck combs here, which I do not plan on using these tuck combs because I am trying to get my hair to grow. There's also the adjustable straps and another tuck comb in the back. OK, 
Okay, and this is her. Mind you, I told you I took her out. I just tried her on. But she, even the burgundy color is beautiful, I think. I like it. So let me just put her on without cutting anything. And this hair, this wig did have, I've got them all up though. They did have a few um, baby hairs. I am not a professional wig put her on melting down wigs i'm not one of those goo girls here on youtube i just see these wigs i use like to wear wigs i've never done a wig review or anything till recently so yeah so bear with me if i'm not doing it like the big dogs do okay <laughs> all right so i'm gonna be looking in the mirror so i can look at myself when i put this on And I'm just putting it on so you guys can see it before I cut the lace. I'm not going to cut the lace on camera because I am not. I'm sorry. I got to stand up make sure. Because it seems like I can see my hair just a little. I need to bring it down. So, okay. There we go. Is she not pretty or what, you guys? And this is before I even do anything, before I even cut the lace or anything. And I'm going to tell y'all, I've never cut lace off of a wig. The lady that I get my wigs from at the wig store usually cuts my lace, but I got to try to do it myself. But, you know, it's not too bad for my skin tone, I don't think. I don't think. I don't know. But we'll see. And, you know, you can just part her any kind of way. I don't have any combs in here, so I'm doing it with my fingers for now. I can wear her any kind of way. I can flip her to the side. It's just such a nice parting space. And she is just cute. I think she's cute. I like her. So, um, let me show y'all the back. And then I'm going to go and cut the lace and come back and stop. Oh, oh girl. Yes, hunty. Mm-hmm. Now, I like her. I like her. She seems a bit much <laughs> hair. Like you said, you just had a short wig, Miss Nat. <laughs> I know. Okay. <laughs> okay, let me show y'all. Okay, side. And this is the back. Okay. Hope y'all saw that. Okay. And this is the other side. Okay, so I'm going to go. Let me get up in here. Can y'all see that? No. And even when I put it on now, I'm going to use this other thing I have. I need to show y'all that. Um, I'm going to put it on so I don't have to, like, put the, um, you know what they say, um, how they melt the lace. And I've got the got to be glued, hairspray, and gel, and all that. I've got all that. But I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm going to actually try this wig grip that I ordered off of Amazon and I'll show you guys that as well too okay so yeah see that is that not a nice hair I know you can't have tail because of this is not down good but let me go cut this and then I'm gonna come back I'm telling y'all I'm loving this part in space do y'all see that it's like you can part it however you want and you know some people put their powder in the middle of it to make it look more like their skin tone. I guess if they're a little bit darker or whatever, but I don't know. I might can get away with it not doing it. But let's see. Let me go play with it and I'll be back, okay? Hold on. So I found the packing slip for the wig. I got this wig off of Hair So Fly. I paid, um, it was $54.99, and then I had to do the $10.91 shipping, so I actually wound up paying $65.90. So, yeah. Let's see if I can cover up my stuff. But this is the store I got it from, Hair So Fly. Okay? So, let me open up. I haven't even, I had this thing forever from Amazon, and I just hadn't. And it came from GX Worldwide somewhere in Lexington, Kentucky, but all I did was go on um, Amazon and do a search for um, 
the wig grip and this is what it looks like so and I know y'all seen that for many people who have been doing these um, but it's supposed to keep your wig from slipping or coming up. So I'm going to try to put this on and cut the lace off this wig and then I'll be back. Okay. Okay. So this is the wig grip on and hopefully I got it on right and placement is right. I don't know. We'll see. So I cut the lace off of the wig and I don't know if I even did that right. I felt like Let's see what I can do. Sorry, I'm just standing up so I can see in my mirror locked up. Oh yeah, this is not gonna work. And I'm gonna show y'all why. This particular thing is not gonna work unless I put some um powder in it. And I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna show you why in a minute. I'll probably have to put powder in the hairline. And see, as I'm messing with this hair, it's tangled. Look, let me see if I had a comb in here. I forgot to bring my comb, which is crazy to do something online and then don't have a comb. I'm gonna have to cut this off again. But, okay, let me show y'all. Y'all see how pink that looks? That's because this lace is so thin that you can see the wig grip under it. So that's definitely, definitely not going to work. And I know I don't have it on my head right because this right here just don't look, it looks like. I think because of that pink is why it's looking like that. So this definitely is a no-no underneath there. And it's supposed to be more tone color, but that's not a good one. Maybe for my wigs that don't have such a light, um, lace to it maybe but mm -mm, that one wasn't it so i think i'm gonna have to go and put me a little got to be down on it i'm gonna go put some got to be on it i think because i don't I'm going to have to go put some powder and some got to be on it. Let me go see. Can I fix it? I'll be back. Okay, guys. I am back with styling this wig for now. Um, definitely the hair grip. This thing here would not work for this type of wig. Now, maybe for the ones that aren't lace front. But I've seen some people use it with lace fronts. But for me, because this lace is so thin that you could see this right through. It stuck out like a sore thumb. Now, um, I'm not ex experienced or even willing or wanting to do what some of these girls do that do more professional with bleaching the knots. And when you say the knots, let me show y'all. Okay, I don't know if you can see it good on camera, but you can see it's where you can see the little holes where the hair actually goes into the lace where they're actually attaching the hair. That's what the knots are. Um, yeah. And I did not lay any baby hairs or anything now. This was just like the natural plucked hairline. And that's more me. I don't really do baby hairs like that. So this looks more natural for me. And I love it. I love this style. I actually love it on me. I think it actually looks good. Now, would this be an everyday wig for me? No. Because... I feel like it's a little too long. It looks a little bit more dressy up. Like you're going somewhere and you want to stand out in the crowd. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Actually, I'm going to wear it to work, but is it an everyday wig for me? I don't think so. And I've seen these girls do cute little out, um, you know, cute little things with it. They take the top, pull it up in a ponytail, let it come back, and then it's up off your face. That might be an everyday look for me. But, you know, for now, I think it is actually cute. I didn't do anything much but just kind of... I put the got to be, and I did not do that online because why? I already told y'all I'm not a professional. <laughs> but it's the got to be um, glue, the spiking glue, and then it's the stuff in the... Spray bottle, I got that. And as you can see, she's down. She ain't going nowhere. So yeah. And what you, it's a process. Go online, 
find somebody who's talking about melting that lace now or how I melted my lace. That's when they're telling you about how to use the got to be stuff because I'm not a professional. I'm going to try to tell y'all how to do it. Go and find a video. There's a lot of girls out there that's melting that lace and it looks awesome. But yeah, for now, I think I think I like it. So yeah. So anyway, thanks for watching you guys. Y'all can leave your question. Well, I'll answer them the best I know how. <laughs> I did show y'all and tell y'all where I got everything from. Um, but you can leave your um, any comments down below. Tell me how you like this wig. Do you like this wig on me? Do you think I did okay with installing this wig? Um, do you think you'll purchase this unit for yourself if you're a wig wearer? Let me know. And I actually love this color and I can't wait for the copper to come back in style be, well, in stock and then I most definitely will be doing the copper in this unit. Okay, I think it's worth it. Okay, talk to y'all later. Bye now.